We are back answering your stimulus and tax related questions. Let's get right to it. Um, will dependents all ages get that $1,400 stimulus if they're over 17 or SSI? What can you tell us about that, Mark? So the proposal right now is yes. Th that group got left out in the last two stimulus packages, but the proposal now is that a depend if you're claimed as a dependent, either as a child or an adult for any reason, you would be eligible to get a dependent payment and the proposal now is $1,400 per dependent. Wow, that would be a big change. All right, this person says, we have not gotten our second stimulus check. We did get a check from the first stimulus. Can we still expect this first one? What should we do at this point in time? And Kevin, I think the answer is, you're gonna need to file taxes. You're basically, and there's probably gonna be a lot of people in that lineup, Tanya, that did not get the second stimulus check just by virtue of the small window of time for it to go out and get in, in the mail and into their hands or direct deposit. So basically they need to file taxes to be able to claim the recovery rebate credit for the stimulus check, but also put down on their taxes the first payment that they got so they reconcile all that and then they can get it. What they didn't get, they can get it on their uh, return. All right, we've had a couple of questions about folks who got checks and then their spouse died after or right before the check arrived. So Scott, what do those folks need to know? Right, so I've heard a, I've heard a couple different uh, possible uh, scenarios there. So uh, we had some spouses that did pass away in 2019 and folks were receiving their stimulus checks. And after the first round of stimulus, see, uh, they actually did come up with a way for folks to return that money. So. Um, they were really um, not wanting to spend that. Uh, it's going to have to be returned. And that's probably going to that's going to be what we expect with the second round of stimulus as well. Uh, so if you received a check for a spouse, uh, we recommend that you not spend that. Just hold on to it until they come out with instructions on how to return it. Now, if you had a spouse that was, you know, maybe passed away in January um, and uh, then you received that stimulus check, well, you're entitled to keep that because they were uh, they were in fact alive throughout uh, the total of 2020. Mm -hmm. This next question says, was the income amount lowered for the stimulus checks for the $1,400? Mark, I believe that it has been. Um, so th there has not been a change in the criteria in the last two stimulus uh, payments. And then it's been debated that it should be significantly lowered for this third round of stimulus that's coming up, but that's still in debate, but right now, there's a real strong push to keep it as it was, but that's still being debated. So stay tuned, it's a developing story. Mm -hmm. uh, Kevin, this person says, what should you do if your tax information in raw is wrong? In my case, the 1099 form lists more money than I receive from unemployment. In fact, I had that come up today and I would basically be uh, get on the phone or, or get a, somehow contact the unemployment office and, and go through that and provide whatever documentation. If it's wrong, then it needs to be corrected. And they don't really need to be jumping on the bandwagon in the fall right away because if it's wrong, then they're going to pay tax on income they didn't receive. So they need to contact the unemployment office. Yeah, and, and the unemployment them. office actually has a, a part on their website that says you need to get in contact with us. So make sure that you do that and follow the prompts. And I don't know if this is a Scott or a Kevin question. Are W-2s showing up later than normal this year? I know a lot of people haven't received theirs yet. Hmm. Kevin, what are your thoughts on that? You know, I thinking that for the most part, I haven't heard anybody complaining to me as far as tax clients about, you know, not getting the W-2. Sometimes the 1099 seem to be the greater culprit. So as far as I know, I'm not saying any are not late, but overall, I think that they're out on time. Mm -hmm. Kevin probably deals more with the W-2s. I deal with a lot of 1099-Rs from clients where maybe they've moved some money around and, mm -hmm. you know, I've, I've been getting those phone calls. Hey, Scott, you know, what are these? Uh, so doesn't doesn't seem to be any delay there. Okay, and very quickly, Scott or Kevin, I took money out of my 401k and there was a forgiveness to take it out. How does that affect my taxes? We've got less than a minute. Go ahead, Scott. Right, so the CARES Act allowed folks to access their 401ks uh, if they were prior to 59 and a half and avoid that 10% penalty. Uh, but taxes, there was no tax exemption uh, involved there. Uh, but certainly if uh, you know it was a very challenging year, if that was you, make sure you have a plan to replenish those retirement accounts. Okay, anything quickly to add on that, Kevin? Uh, just pretty much as Scott said, that the, the, the early withdrawal penalty is waived for COVID, COVID relief for the 1099s or for the retirement account. Uh, they have three years to pay tax on it too. So.
three years to pay taxes on it. All right, we're going to continue, of course, the stimulus and tax discussion for the next few weeks. So, and if you missed anything, you can always go to WFMYNews2.com. We've got our resources there.